Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. All right, what's up, everybody? So, uh, it's season one, episode seven. We did seven full days. Um, what do we have? Like 358 more days to go uh, for the first year, for a committed one year. I, I didn't say I was stopping after the, the first year. That's just my... Um, my goal, the first, uh, the, fi- the first milestone. Uh, but anyway, hopefully everyone is doing well tonight. We've been getting a lot of um, a lot of people listening in on the uh, to the podcast. I really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Um, it's exciting. It's a it's a new venture. I, I kind of I'm I'm really digging this. You know. Now I didn't forget the videos. I have a whole uh, batch of new videos about to about to drop in a minute. Um, going to teach you guys all kinds of stuff, you know, pretty much everything that I know, um, kind of show, um, those interested in getting involved in the freestyle music genre, whether it's as an artist or behind the scenes as a manager or promoter or a booking agent, whatever, um, kind of share with you guys some of the stuff that I know and kind of, you know, show you how you can, how you can get involved. You know, I'm really, um, interested in seeing more people, uh, get involved in in the market. I think it's it's very important, um, uh, and, and I, I I encourage you. And I just want to put this out there: anybody who has any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out to me. I prefer if it's not private. I prefer it in some sort of post. Um, I probably need to create uh, a post where people can ask questions. I get a lot of DMs. Um, they're cool, but sometimes I don't see them. And uh, I got to do the DMs on my phone sometimes, and it's just it's a little awkward, you know? Um, the reason also why I wouldn't mind you guys posting it somewhere on, on Facebook in particular is so other people can read it. Um because you never know, there are people that are trying to do something and they're just too shy, too shy to uh, to ask questions. Hey, I'm one of them guys, I'm, and I'm like that right now. So I can be in a conference with you know a bunch of key players, uh, regardless of, of you know whatever the the um, whatever whatever it is that we're we're into, you know whatever it is that they're talking about, um, and I can have questions just you know, trying to bust out of me, and I, I just have an issue asking, and uh, I remember um, I had to go when Erica, my daughter, um, got into the Citadel, we had to go to this, it was, a, it was a meeting, it wasn't really, it was a little casual, and it was basically um, other cadets um, who had already graduated, and um, they would just meet with a lot of the new um, cadets and you can ask questions. And there was only, from from the entire thing, there was only two females there. And there was um, and Erica and her and a friend of hers. And they were the only two uh, females. And I was noticing that a lot of um, the questions and answers that they were giving, a lot of tips, really pertain to guys. And, and I finally... It push, I had to push it, but I, I raised my hand and I asked the question pretty much on behalf of, of the of the girls. And um, it was crazy, very awkward. <laughs> they really didn't know how to answer. So I think I got, uh, I kind of put everybody in a corner, but it took a lot for me to just ask that question. So I kind of keep that in mind also with other people. Do not, you know, do not feel embarrassed um, if, it, if you're compelled to, to ask me on a DM, on the on the down low, whatever the case, that's 
that's fine too. But if you can post it and it can help other people, then that's cool. That's cool. That would really help out, you know. Um, speaking of Erica, um, yes, she's in the army. She's stationed right now in Germany. She works in the hospital. Um, and uh, I just want to, you know, want you know, make sure we all keep uh, our thoughts and prayers in uh, military. Um, you know that out there. I mean, it's it's crazy now. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm sure we all we have we all have our, our opinions of the situation. Uh, but I I don't go there with anyone. I don't do politics or or religion, especially on a podcast. <laughs> That's not what we're here for. But it's not to be ignored. It's not to be swept under the rug. It's for real. But you know, uh, there's a time and place for us to talk about it. But this is not it. So I just want to say, you know, let's keep our our prayers and thoughts. Um, I mean, I have a daughter and probably a lot of you have family or, you know, maybe even children in the military. And it's a scary, scary situation. So, but um, we do live in an incredible country. I have a lot of, I, I, I love this country. Um, I'm not ashamed to say it. Um, it does, there's a lot of opportunities. Uh People can look at all the negatives of it. I, I can't. I can't. So, but anyway, let's let's get back to uh, what we're doing, okay? So anyway, before I forget, okay, we have a couple shows coming up. Uh, we're going to start picking up now. Um, so we have um, February 15th. This is uh, 2020. We have Fresno, California. And this is with Pacific Concert Group. Uh, the freestyle, it's called, the. these are the people that do the freestyle explosions or the super, super freestyle explosions. Uh, and this is the Valentine's Freestyle Love Jam. However, it's not Valentine's Day, it's the day after, it's the 15th. Um, it's going to be in uh, Selen, the Selen Arena. Um, it's going to have Stevie B, Lisa Lisa, the original cover girls, Trinia, Lanier featuring uh, Joey Restivo, uh, Johnny O. Cynthia, Stacey Q. It's going to be a dope show. Um, anything these people put on is really, really, is really great. And this is going to be in Fresno. Yep, it's Fresno, California. So I just want to make sure. <laughs> so I'm looking at the notes. So anybody who's in or around that area, go ahead, go, man. Go go check out the show. And if you can, you know, let me know you're going. Maybe there's somehow, I man, I would love to come out. Sometimes um, we get, you know, uh, fans or friends that come to these shows and they get in early. And a lot of times I have to be at the sound and they're already, they're being seated, people still coming in. And I'll tell them to text me and I'll tell them, well, if you're facing the stage, where are you? And they'll be, I'm in the Third row to the right, on the right side, third row. So I usually go past the the barricades and go seek them out. And just so I can, you know, meet them in person, handshake, hug, whatever the case, take a, maybe take a selfie. Um, so it's really cool. I, I look forward to that. That's a, that's always a highlight of, <clears throat> of my, uh, my travels is meeting the fans and, and people that have been so gracious to us, you know, I can never forget you. And, you know, it, it really, really means a lot to me. Um, I'm not even going to go to the whole cliche of if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. But you know what? It's true. It's true. If you guys had no love for this genre, um, I don't know what I'd be doing. <laughs> You know, I got in trouble when I was a kid, so you know my background kind of you know has me has my hands tied a bit. So I don't know, <laughs> but uh, I'm not there. So so it, the shows are happening. Uh, you guys do love this stuff, and you know, and that's one of the reasons why I'm I've always been on this uh, this mission to to kind of you know keep everything going. But before I go there, let me uh, bring up the next show. The next show is. Um, at the Arena Theater in Houston, yeah, in Houston, Texas. So this is going to be, again, Stevie B, Lisa Lisa, the original cover girls, and Jocelyn Enriquez. So I saw Jocelyn not too long ago. Where were we? San Francisco. So it was really great. Uh, we did a show with her. It was just Angel. Angel did the show solo. Um, it was Jocelyn. I haven't seen Jocelyn in years. Um, I took Jocelyn on the road um, for like almost a week. 
and uh, <clears throat> it was a tour bus. I had collage. I was the tour manager. I had collage, little Susie. Uh, who did I have? Collage, little Susie. <laughs> little Susie. Collage, little Susie. Charles Enriquez. Johnny O was supposed to go, but for some reason they didn't put him on. And it was a small tour, and we did. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know. Like I don't know, man. I have to say probably about. I don't know, maybe 10 shows for that week. So it was cool. We had a good time. Um, but it was like after that tour, um, Jocelyn stepped, she stepped down, you know? And I always liked her and I always liked, I always liked her husband. They were always cool people. I've booked them a lot in the past. So but anyway, I'm glad that they're back. I'm glad that they're performing and I am looking forward to seeing them again. Uh, um, also, Austin, we're trying to do something for March First, I will let you guys know more about that if it materializes, okay? Um, and what else we have coming up? Right now, that's all we have. That's I have maybe about six dates. I cannot speak on them because there are no, no contracts right now. Um, they're going to happen, but I have no paperwork, so I can't speak on them as of yet. Uh, and those promoters are currently promoting other events. So we don't want to speak on them and then it kind of messes up the other, the event that they're currently working on. So that's why we kind of keep quiet. So once they go to, and that's why they don't go to contract right away, they get a verbal and then they go to contract because just because it's in contract, they don't want us to speak on it. They don't want us to post it. They don't want us to talk about it or anything because it could mess up the show that they're currently working on. So we understand that. But uh, but it looks like it's going to be a really good year. Um, when uh, um, Probably by the time this month, January, is done, I should be, I should maybe have, I would say maybe for the cover girls, about 12 shows on lock. So we should be good. Um, and then we just, and then from there we just take, uh, uh, dates here and there. Uh, we we kind of space them so that way we're not back to back. That could get uh, pretty um, grueling. Um, as for little Susie, um, she picks and chooses her dates. So um, she's really, really into her family right now. Uh, well, she always has, not right now, but um, they're at that age where, you know, they're, you know, um, they're getting a little older and she just wants to be with her family. They just, they bought a beautiful home. They have an incredible freaking pool that was just put in. So, um, she's living a great life. And what's great is that she's able to pick and choose what shows she wants to go to. No, she did not retire. Anyone who's telling you that is telling you a lie. Okay. So she is still out there. Um, <clears throat> I'm sure she's going to end up later on in the future picking up more shows and wanting to be out there a little bit longer, a little bit more. But right now, you know, she's kind of picking and choosing. Uh, we don't know. We could do, she'll do anything from maybe, maybe six to eight shows for the year and that's it. So, um, so if you get a chance, if you hear that she's coming down to your town, you might want to go check her out because it, it might be a while before she comes back, you know? So, uh, so anyway, that's the deal. With um, with the show so far, um, stay tuned on these podcasts. I'm gonna try to see if I can talk about them uh, when they're coming up. If I can uh, just to uh, to let you guys know that you know we're coming to town, you know. And remember, like I said, I always want to meet you. You know, sometimes it's not possible. Sometimes um, the itinerary is crazy. Um, just so you guys know how it works, um, many times. Now remember, I'm in North Carolina, so I'm on the East Coast. So many times. We fly. A lot of times, if you'll see, if you follow us on social media, on, on Facebook in particular, you'll see when me and Angel get in the Jeep, we usually take that, 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 that photo of the, you know, the two of us behind the wheel. <coughs> um, we're usually heading towards to the airport at that time, and it's usually dark out. So we usually catch like maybe 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Uh, flight. We're about maybe 45 minutes from the airport. Um, and then what happens is we go all the way to California, when we get to Cali, we try to stay close to the airport so that we can shuttle it in. And the reason why we do that is because the girls come from different different locations. And it gets a little crazy if we have to get a vehicle to go keep coming back and forth. And and it just it could just 
kick into time. I'd rather the girls get in, get a little uh, time to rest up, and that's it. So what we do is we try to stay real close to the hotel, to the yeah, to the hotel. So we'll we'll fly into the airport and we'll shuttle it in, which is very convenient. As well as when we're going home, we'll be able. We don't have to wait for anybody. As many times that promoters are running late or there's traffic, whatever the case. At least this way, we know the car is there. We we'll jump in, boom, back to the airport early in the morning, and we don't have to, you know, uh, you know, have a car, you know. And then if I'm on an airplane, I'm worried about did the other two make it out. So I don't want to worry about that either. Sometimes I can't always set my flight up to leave after them. So. Um, but anyway, so that's that's what that does. But what happens is we fly in. So let's say we fly in Saturday morning. We used to go. We'll rest up. The girls will get together. They'll do a little rehearsal. We'll grab a little bite. Everybody will try to take a little nap. And then um, if the show is midnight, uh, we try to meet down in the lobby maybe around 9 p.m. We try to get to uh, the venue maybe hour, hour and a half, depending on the situation, if it's a club, and we'll be there an hour before the show. If it's a bigger venue, we might get there two hours because we can unwind and the girls can do the hair or whatnot. So it gives me time to walk around, kind of mix and mingle. I see a lot of people I haven't seen in a while. Um, and then I also get to go to the sign. But during that time, when I get there early, a lot of times when the fans are coming in, um, I'm able to go outside. I could go out into the audience and just say what's up, you know, so I enjoy that. But so we go, when we get in, uh, I forgot we do sound check also. So we're going early, we'll do sound check, go back, eat, rest up, and then get ready for the show. Go, you know, whatever, change, shower, whatever, makeup, hair. <clears throat> then we meet at the lobby and we shoot out to the venue and we do the show. And then usually right after the show, we'll do a little meet and greet, depending on the venue. Our Freestyle Explosion doesn't always do meet and greets. Uh, it's a security uh, situation. Also, um, has to do with the amount of time that they, the venue gives them. So they don't want to take any, any chances. Um, if, if you run over time in these big venues, it's very expensive. I think it's something like $3,000 a minute. It's like some stupid, ridiculous number. Okay, so I could be wrong with that, but I, I kind of think I'm not, not for the big venues. So they just don't want you to to go over at all. So um, <clears throat> so what we do is after the show, we'll usually meet. There's usually a few VIP backstage. We'll say what's up, take some pictures. We'll make sure the car's ready, grab our bags, jump in the car, get back to the hotel. Um, and then usually we'll, we'll, we might hang up, hang out together as a group. Go to one of the rooms, order some pizza, whatever, chill out, catch up, talk, eat, and then we shut down. That's it. And then the next morning, we're back on a plane and until the next show. So that's pretty much the life. That's how it is. I've been doing that routine for 25 years. You know, remember, I've been work, working with little Susie since she was a little girl. I'm talking about like five years old. I was at her fifth birthday party. So I've been with her for a very long time, traveled the country with her, um, so, yeah, so I've been doing this for, for quite a while, um, and, and I love it. I have, you know, the only time you might catch me uh, complain a little bit, Andrew gets mad at me, is when I got to go through security. <laughs> I'll be real with you. I, I, can't, I hate going through security, you know. Um, other than that, I think I'm okay. I think I, I enjoy what I do. Sometimes I catch myself huffing and puffing. I might complain here and there. Not much, but then I kind of catch myself, and I kind of I take it back. Because um, there's a lot of people wish they would do were doing what I do, and I understand this. So I want to be grateful, and I am grateful, um, grateful for what I do. It's been fun, and we're still having a great time. And you know, people say, "Well, you know, you know, you're getting older." Yeah, well, you know what? The '70s acts us in the '80s, man, and they're still doing it. <laughs> I know I run into them. There's still Motown acts that are performing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, um, you know, so. You know, the freestyle, you know, we look at it now, yeah, you know, but you got to realize <clears throat> as the freestyle artists get older, so do the fans, okay? <laughs> so it's not like, oh, man, look at it. They got so old. Well, look at the mirror. So did you. <laughs> so it cracks me up. It cracks me up. You know, sometimes we'll see people on Facebook. They'll be like, oh, my God, look, look how much weight they gain and I you know I gotta do it man I gotta go into a profile sure enough I'm like oh my god you kidding me (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, and you always see the, the the couple of pictures they have that of when they were young and sexy, and then you look at them now, it's like, oh my god. <laughs> so, you know, <clears throat> but but it's it's all good. You know, we still have a good time, and we don't take any of that stuff personal. I know I don't. You know, the girls don't either. We 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 understand what the situation is. You know, but <clears throat> you know, I had a great time. It's been a great. Uh, career for me. Uh, money's been great too. It was. It's really, you know, people talk about, oh, you're fighting for chump change. Trust me, people. It's not chump change. It's not hip hop money, but it's not chump change either, you know? So, you know, the income is, is good. It's good. And when you look at what you're getting and, and the work you have to do for it, it's like, you know, it's almost not fair. It's almost like you're stealing. Because you're having such a good time and you get to see the world. And, you know, look at me. I travel with some beautiful women. I mean, from, you know, of course, my wife to the cover girls to SAL to little Susie. So I've been really, really fortunate, you know. And, um, you know, to be able to travel the, travel the country. I don't say the world. We go to Canada, Mexico. I get calls for Dubai. I get calls for Brazil, for Bolivia, for Colombia, for Peru. Really not interested, to be honest. Really not interested in leaving the country. Um, I'll send people out of the country. I've sent a few acts to Brazil and to Bolivia, and to I sent a lot of acts to Canada. Um, Susie's huge, huge in Canada. I think, uh, my opinion, the two biggest acts in Canada right now um, is Susie and the Stevie B. I think the other group that can actually make it really big because of the impact they had are the cover girls. Uh, that can do really well. I know it sounds biased, but it's true, you know. Um, other than that, so so this is one of the reasons why, you know, people say, you know, wow, you fight so hard, man. You you, you know, everything that you're doing, I mean, is it, is it worth it to you? Yeah, it's worth it. Sure is. I write these books. I, I do everything that I, I do it because I feel that it's worth it. You know, I am very fortunate and I'm very grateful I love the genre. I love what it stands for. I love the fans. I love the artists. Listen, even the people, even the culprits, man, I understand their history. I know what they've done in the past. It's just a shame they have to fuck everything up. But other than that, you know, I I always had respect for them. And I've tried to get into their heads and say, hey, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this. We can, we can, we can do this the right way, and we can really, really build this genre. You know, this is more than just a music. There's a culture here, people. You just gotta really, really look at it that way. Put that in your head, and then look at what's going on. And it is. It's a, it's a freaking culture. You know. So, you know, and and I, I'm always trying to share this with people. And this is why I do the podcast. This is why I do the videos. This is why you know I write the blogs. <coughs> Speaking of which, <coughs> excuse me, guys. Speaking of which, um, uh, if you guys ever want to see some of the different things that I do, uh, go into my website. I'm still building it. I've been building it for 10 years, but <laughs> I just did a little uh, facelift on it. My site is very simple. It's basically it's basically links to my social medias as well as my blog, as well as the podcast, uh, La Radio Live, which probably all of you should know by now. It's been around forever. Um, and my booking agency, of course, Law Entertainment. So, and the, and the website is latifmercado.com. So, so if you never, if you can't remember how to get into my podcast or how to watch any of my videos, or, all you have to do is go into my website and everything is there. Okay. And there's no long bios and all that crap because I can't stand that crap. So I didn't want it. So it's just straight up. The only thing you have a lot to read about is if you want and you have to read a lot to read in there is the blogs and the blogs are pretty cool. I've been writing those for years and those are a little bit more on the personal tip. Um, sometimes I, I, I just want to open up and I'm sitting there and I just want to type. Uh, but those are pretty cool. I had another blog set that I would like to um, to transfer over into that set uh, that goes back, God, like before people knew what blogging was. So I've been doing it for a long time. But Anyway, uh, so that's pretty much the story as as of now. I just wanted to, you know, uh, reach out to you guys uh, quickly. Um, thank you for 
uh, following me, continue to follow. Please, if you can, you know, if you can, share this. Uh, we just got accepted by Spotify. So if you're on Spotify, uh, it's just under, just search Good Night Freestyle. We're there. Okay, so feel free to, to check us out through there as well. Um, and, you know, little by little, we'll, we'll be growing. We're going to be hitting all the other platforms and uh, really, really, really getting out there. I have a lot of great information, a lot of great content, a lot of valuable stuff, a lot of um, real freestyle gems that I'm, I'm ready to share with you guys. Um, so, you know, I want you to stay tuned, log in, and don't forget, you know, hit, hit that message that message button, and, you know, if you have a question, and I like to feature it on the next podcast, you know, so don't be shy, um, just hit the message button, if you mess up, you can do it again, and um, and then I'll listen to all of them, and I'll pick one that, that I like it, well, each one, you know, I, I don't want to do too many questions on one podcast, I just want to, you know, kind of narrow it down to one podcast, one question per podcast, so... Anyway, all right, so until then, be cool, be safe, God bless, and good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.